So hello everyone. Um, the book I would like to recommend to you is called The Underground Railroad um, by uh, Colson Whitehead. And um, it's a book I have read a number of different times. Um, and each time I read it, I get something different from it. I find that I, often happens with books. You read it the first time and then you read it again and you get more and more and more from the different books. Now, this particular book, it is quite a um, hard going read because it's obviously based in the southern states uh, in Georgia. It starts off in the southern states of America. And it's talking about the way in which slaves, when they were able to escape from the plantations, where they would go to try and get away from um, their slave owners and to try and make their way as best they could to the northern states of America and into Canada. Those were the states that were more um, sympathetic and they were able to live more freely. So um, the way that they did this was by this series of, um, of underground railroad they called it but it was it wasn't always a physical railroad it was a series of safe houses of people who could support them um, who could keep them hidden now this particular story focuses around um, a slave called Cora who when her mother uh, disappears or, or it, uh, goes from the plantation she's a bit of an out cast in the plantation and actually she gets an extremely uh, violent kind of response from the other slaves so when a second slave called caesar comes to uh, from virginia to the plantation she teams up with him and they decide that they're going to try and escape to the northern states so they go through a whole process of going from state to state uh, and colson whitehead in this book actually does focus it as a physical railway that they were having to go underground and they were having um, to travel on trucks and um, railroad trucks and just go to wherever they could. The slave owners would put out um, arrest orders for them and they would always have um, money that they would rewards. So it was often quite difficult because they would get um, turned in even by other uh, by other slaves so they were um, they were really having a, a journey and a half really to get to some sort of safety so this fo follows the whole of um, the journey and it doesn't actually finish with a great deal of success actually and it keeps you wanting to think what what's happened to Cora because there are twists and turns along the way the slave um, catchers try and find them they escape they go on to to other safe houses they're at one point living in in, in the roof of a house so it, it's a really good read it can be quite brutal because obviously they were very violent times and the information that was gathered by, by Colson Whitehead for this particular book was actually gathered from um, living um, people, slaves, who obviously once this, um, this slavery uh, was abolished, they were able to tell their story. So it's, it's in, in some ways a good way of actually um, seeing in reality what life was like um, in such a horrendous time. So guys, um, thank you and um, I would definitely, definitely read it.